Hello, my name's Ross. I teach in the media department here at Suffolk One. Uh, my name's Sophie and I teach media studies and film studies at A-Level. Uh, hi, uh, I'm going to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Aidan Randall. I am on the games production course and I'll be teaching predominantly it's 2D game design uh, using an engine called Construct 3, uh, which is a free engine so you can look it up right now. Hi, my name's Clive. Uh, I teach media here at Suffolk One. I teach on media studies, A-level, uh, the media production BTEC and the film production BTEC. What you can expect from the games course, um, we'll be looking quite a, a lot into uh, specifically making games. It sounds uh, straightforward, uh, but there's a lot that goes into games production, not just uh, the actual making of the game, how does that even happen, but also making the assets for it. Uh, there's a lot of research that goes into that first. We'll look into that uh, and we'll look at some of the more interesting stuff that goes in behind the scenes of games, uh, such as games theory relating to uh, how a game is balanced or not, which uh, if a lot of you play games already, you'll know that. Uh, you'll get a feel for it, but you may not know how to explain it, and that's what we'll go into as well. And lastly, there will be quite a bit of level design, and uh, hopefully, it will all be transferable knowledge for university, uh, which is all quite exciting as well. So, the equipment that we're predominantly using, uh, not specifically in the games production side that I'll be handling, but you will be using uh, graphics tablets, uh, and that'll be on Macs, um, and so that'll be a lot of fun, uh, they're quite quick, uh, and they seem to work quite well with all the software, and hopefully uh, you may even get to use your own phones, when we'll get to make games, we might make games for phones, who knows, that'd be quite exciting. A typical lesson, uh, we'll likely crack straight into uh, Construct 3 making games straight away. I, I, I tend to get us quite quick onto it, it's very uh, hands-on and learning as we go, uh, but then there'll be a theory linked in between that. Studying media is important because in the current kind of world that we live in, we are bombarded with lots of different um, sources of news and stories and various other different things um, and for that reason I think media is quite important because it teaches you the skills of learning how to unpick something and not take things at face value but actually uh, think about how something is being presented to you is it accurate uh, what's the motive behind it um, and can you see that there might be some kind of bias in terms of how things are being represented to you So film studies uh, is a very analytical course, looking at uh, different aspects of film, from world cinema, British film, and uh, independent, historical, contemporary, and we get to, to make films as well. And uh, as part of that, all students from across all the different courses will uh, have access to a number of uh, resources for film production including a wide range of DSLRs and uh, this includes some Canons, some Panasonics and we, we keep adding and GoPros uh, we're very very lucky and uh, that will mean that you can make a real kind of high production um, if it's film, if it's documentary, if it's advertising you've got everything that you need We teach a variety of different skills, from uh, design skills to photography skills to videography skills on the BTEC uh, and on the Media Studies A level. We really look at how to create a message within a product, how producers communicate meaning, and then how different audiences might interpret that in different ways. And that's all very analytical uh, and really interesting from an academic point of view. We really like to showcase student work here at One, and as part of that, each year we uh, run the Roskers. Uh, I didn't come up with the name, just a little disclaimer there, uh, that was a student's idea a few years ago. Each year we uh, invite parents and friends and yourselves to come and uh, celebrate the, the amazing productions 
and uh, it's a real fun event. There are awards, there's uh, food and drink, which is all, always goes down uh, well, especially for me. And uh, we get to, to kind of marvel at uh, your success. And we're also joined by uh, ex-students who are now working in the industry. And uh, that, that's always a, a good, fun, fun event. A typical lesson is um, some guided learning from your teacher uh, using quite a range of different methods. It might be group work, it might be discussion, tests, uh, videos that you might need to summarise. Um, but equally, we do expect people to take a fairly independent kind of approach to things. Um, and a lot about media and film, particularly, is about having your own opinion or sort of trying to unpick certain various different things, thinking about the context in which they were made and how that might have influenced the particular text that you're looking at. So an hour, a lesson is about two and a half hours, give or take, with a break. Um, there'll be some discussion, some viewing things, analysing things and some written. It's not a very heavily written course. Um, there are end of unit assessments but essentially much of it is in class and much of it is as a group. As a department we like to go on a lot of trips and uh, to broaden your horizons in terms of the industry opportunities um, and this includes going to Harry Potter Studios which is always good fun to look at the, the vast um, of exhibitions of behind the scene production and to, to kind of really geek out uh, for the day. Um, we also go to New York um, and this includes uh, visiting some of the kind of iconic sites like the Statue of Liberty and um, Times Square. Uh, but we also look at uh, where films are made. We have a tour around the uh, Manhattan and, and New York um, that includes looking at some of the most famous uh, film scenes and we go to uh, the film uh, museum in New York which um, is amazing. The last time we went there was a Mark Scorsese exhibition uh, which was uh, really fantastic. We also go to uh, game, video game exhibitions and uh, we'll take you to kind of UCAS fairs. Uh, Albra Documentary Film Festival we've been to, we go to that um, almost every year as well. So there's lots and lots of opportunity for you to kind of engage in extra curriculum activities to really make the most of your time here at One. Media studies and uh, media production and those uh, kind of courses are really helpful in terms of getting roles within the media. It could be that you look at things like public relations, um, and we look at marketing and advertising and those kind of units are really good for understanding how public relations, marketing and advertising work for various different products. Um, or it might be that you're interested in the practical side and obviously there's um, aspects in every of the courses, every one of the courses that we do, um, where you get to use InDesign, Premiere if you want to make a moving image or you can make a print text, audio, etc. So you get a real range of um, skills that you can use post 16, 18, and post university as well if you want to. Um, there's the analytical side, um, the kind of ideas side, equally there's the practical side that you could use after as well. So we hope that has given you some insight to the wonderful media department here at One. If you have any questions please check out our FAQs link below and if you'd like to find out any more then visit our website at www.suffolk1.ac.uk or check out our Instagram account at Suffolk One Media as we try to update student work or exciting things going on. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.